So we are gathered here today to witness and to celebrate the special love between the two of you. Today is not about the words spoken or the rings exchanged, nor is it about grand pronouncements or recessional marches. This day, the day of your wedding, is all about love. These are the days that fly by when you're not looking. Don't wanna waste it on all your nights spent alone again. We are different, stuck in a small town, haven't left just yet. Got bigger dreams running through our heads, running through our heads. Oh, we hear the rumbling of the road. A new song playing far from home. We come together to answer the call. We play it loud, or we play. Love isn't just a word, it's an action. Love isn't something you say, rather it's something that you do. Love is genuine, honest, open, compassionate and kind, passionate and blind. Love doesn't know space or time, nor does it look through jealous eyes. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things and endures all things, because love never dies. Justin and Jessalyn, in the time you've been together, your love and understanding of each other has grown and matured. You've built a strong foundation for your relationship and you've found joy in one another's company. You've become better, more fulfilled people because of the connection between the two of you. And now you've decided to live your lives together as husband and wife. I wanna remind you that your wedding lasts only today, but your marriage will become the story that you both tell for the rest of your lives. From this day forward, you possess the opportunity to co-author a story of lifelong love, commitment, and laughter. Together, you will surely experience all that life has to offer with the common shared desire to simply love and be loved. A solid marriage is built on the foundation of your commitment. In marriage, the little things are truly the big things. It is standing together and facing the world. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It's having the capacity to forgive it is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is the common search for the good and the beautiful in the world. And though love can be difficult to put into words, we all know it when we see it and feel it. And I can honestly say that I see it and feel it between the two of you here today. You have an electric and contagious sort of love. I encourage you to continue to nurture and grow that love through the big and small moments of your marriage, as well as through the good and the bad times. Share your passions, discover life's deeper questions, pursue new experiences, and truly grow together. Jessalyn and Justin, today your lives which begin on separate paths will be joined forever as one. And so now I have a question for both of you. Do you promise to be each other's partners from this day forward, to bring out the best in one another, to share your happiest moments together and love each other absolutely for the rest of this lifetime? If so, please respond in unison by saying, we do. We do. Justin and Jessalyn, today you choose each other to begin your life together and for all the tomorrows that follow, you will choose each other over and over again. Your marriage is a promise that is renewed daily through your actions and a responsibility taken on in the spirit of faith, hope, and love that brings comfort in times of sadness and heightens even our greatest joys. And so now I invite you to express your love through vows promised to one another here today. Justin. You came into my life at a time when I was just going through the motions, but knew I wanted more. Meeting you took a leap of faith, and I'll be honest, I thought our first date would be my chance to practice getting back in to the world of dating and relationships, a first step. But from that day a year and a half ago until now, we've been walking beside each other without looking back. You've brought stability into my life like I have never had before. You are the constant for me and for Josie. I know she loves everybody, so maybe I can't trust her fully, but I quickly saw how you cared for her and were devoted to her. I love the family that the three of us have now. 
I try to balance being excited about what the future has in store for us and all that we are building uh, with the importance of staying in the present and enjoying where we are now. Even when that means where we are is on the couch watching a 20 year old episode of Whose Line Is It Anyway? <laughs> I vow to always put you in our marriage first. I vow to support you, to help you grow, and to allow you to do the same for me. I vow to choose you on the good days and the bad days. I will always be in your corner. Also, I promise to always tell you when you need a haircut. <laughs> I promise to take turns letting Josie out when it's negative four degrees or three o'clock in the morning. I promise to be supportive of your fantasy football obsession and to offer my unsolicited opinion of whether or not your clothes match. I love you, I choose you, and I will always walk beside you. Jessalyn, you're my best friend, partner, confidant, and my greatest adventure. But most importantly, you're the love of my life, and you make me happier than I ever thought I could be, and more loved than I ever dreamed possible. You have made me a more thoughtful and all-around better person, as our love for one another, another is reflected in the way that I live my life. I consider myself the luckiest guy to be a part of your life, which today becomes our life together. When I think back to our first date, I think about how blessed and lucky I truly am. I remember waiting for you, and you walked in, and I was stunned. You're absolutely gorgeous. The pictures really didn't do you justice, though I'm sure Allison will do a great job. We, mostly you, uh, talked and got to know each other, and somehow I got a second date. No idea how. I was so nervous around you, I could barely look at or talk to you. I still never miss a chance to check out your legs or just check you out as, as, we're lay, as you lay on the couch and I'm bringing you something after a long day at work. As the weeks and months go by, I knew you're the one I wanted to grow old with, have kids with, and share the rest of my life with. Not long after we started dating, I had to travel a bunch for work. Up to that point, I loved all the travel. Well, now I'm out in Colorado Springs and I was absolutely miserable and came back to Boston just for a couple days just to see you. I couldn't be away from you. For for very long. I knew then what you meant to me and where we were going just a short time into our relationships. Since then, you've helped me grow so much from being a more vocal and expressing my opinion more to pushing me to do things I'd never dreamed of before. I moved across the country with you without a second thought because being with you was the most important thing to me. I'm sure before long, you'll have me uh, chasing you out of an airplane or trying bungee jumping as well. <laughs> I hope I can help you as much as you've helped me through whatever life throws our way. Spending time with you is the easiest thing in the world. You are so comforting to be around. Whether it's a trip to Soa or a failed mini golf date <laughs> turned Mexican dinner, <laughs> we'll always make the best of whatever life is, uh, of whatever is in front of us. The reason it's so easy for me is because I'm holding your hand through it all. You're one of the most persistent people I've ever met. You know what you want and you go for it. Nothing can stop you from accomplishing your dreams. And I'm so lucky to be standing here with you knowing that you aren't someone to settle for okay. You always seek the best for yourself. Another thing I admire about you is your empathy. Your ability is unmatched and I hope someday to have half of what you do. It's not a strength of mine and it's on the laundry list of things that I hope our kids inherit from you. <laughs> I love how adventurous you are. I'm so jealous of all the trips you tell me about all the time and all your travels, and I look forward to making all the travel memories and finding our adventures together. I'm excited for our next adventure so much. What a crazy month we're having. Mm -hmm. First uh, today, getting married, and then at the end of the month, hopefully, we're closing on our house together. Uh, I can't believe we get to experience all this together. You're my best friend and my one true love. I see these vows not as promises, not only as promises, but also as privileges. I get to laugh with you and cry with you, care with you and share with you. I get to run with you and walk with you build with you and live with you. I promise faithfulness, respect, attentiveness, and self-improvement. I will celebrate your triumphs and love you all the more for your failures. Our attitudes, attitude towards finding adventure in life is something I really cherish and look forward to. I love it so much when those experiences take the form of us making a home-cooked meal together with a little wine and maybe a little Bobby Bones and chatting about our <laughs> days together. I promise to rub you back every night and never let us lose our spark. Maybe I'll even throw in the extra two minutes you ask for once in a while. <laughs> I've had to have patience. The patience love demands to speak when words are needed and to share in the silence when they are not. I take you as you are, loving who you are now and who you are yet to become. 
I promise to listen to you and learn from you, to support you and accept your support. I will love you and have faith in your love for me through all our years and all that love, all that life may bring us. I love you so much. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Come on, Joe. Did <laughs> you make an entrance? Thank you. So people often say wedding bands are a perfect circle with no beginning and no end, but these rings did have a beginning. The stones were formed a long time ago deep within the earth. Eventually a series of lucky events caused them to rise to the surface where someone dug them up. The metal was then liquefied in a furnace at a thousand degrees, molded, cooled, and painstakingly polished. Something beautiful was made from raw elements. Love is a lot like that. It comes from humble beginnings, and through a combination of serendipity and effort, imperfect beings shape it into something extraordinary. It's the process of making something beautiful where there once was nothing at all. As you look at these rings <laughs> over the years, I hope you remember exactly that. The two of you have created something invaluable. And just as I know you'll protect these rings, I'm confident you'll protect the commitments you've made to one another here today. When you place these wedding rings on each other's fingers, your journey of life is linked together. And it's your story to write. One shared story filled with memories, desires, hopes that belong to each of you. So Justin, please take Jesslyn's ring, place it on her finger, hold it there, and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol that I choose you. As a symbol that I choose you. To be my wife and my partner. To be my wife and my partner. And my very best friend. And my very best friend. Today, tomorrow, and always. Today, tomorrow, and always. Wear it and think of me. Wear it and think of me. And know that I love you. And know that I love you. Very good. <laughs> now, Jesslyn, please take Justin's ring. <laughs> <laughs> Place it on his finger. Hold it there and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol that I choose you. As a symbol that I choose you. To be my husband and my partner. To be my husband and my partner. And my very best friend. My very best friend. Today, tomorrow, and always. Today, tomorrow, and always. Wear it and think of me. Wear it and think of me. And know that I love you. And know that I love you. Very good. Now the two of you <laughs> hold hands and warm up. I know. <laughs> so, His hands are perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Jesslyn and Justin, I'd like you to think about the hands that you're now holding. These are the hands of your very best friend holding yours on your wedding day promising to love you and to work together as you build your future together. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need strength, tenderness when you need tenderness, and love when you need love. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will hold all those whom you love. And these are the hands that years from now will still be reaching for your hands, still seeking the love, encouragement, and support that each of you seeks from the other. Justin and Jesslyn, may your marriage truly be the union of two souls, two hearts, and two minds. I pray that your souls will join together so that your strengths shall be twice as great and your hardships will only be half as difficult. May you both possess a constant desire to put your spouse before yourself in every way to act mindful and to allow love and patience to prevail in your marriage. May you learn from one another and may your fulfillment and joy in each other and in yourselves increase with every passing year. May this be the beginning of a new story a story of not simply partners, but best friends, husband and wife. And so now, it is with great pleasure that I proclaim by the power vested in me by the state of Colorado, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now share your first kiss as husband and wife. Yeah.